From an early age, Scott wanted to reach for the stars. I started off wanting to fly when I was three years old. My inspiration uh, was an old TV show called Sky King uh, back in the day there. I told my parents if I uh, grew up I was going to be a pilot and if I had a daughter I was going to name her Penny after the girl in the thing. Yeah, I'm going to be a pilot when I grow up. During his Navy career, Scott rekindled his childhood memories of Buzz Aldrin and Neil Armstrong's moonwalk. How did you get to the uh, astronaut status? Well, while I was at test pilot school, we took a field trip to Houston, uh, kind of like schools all across the country take their kids on field trips to show them what else is out there. I met a bunch of Navy astronauts who'd had a career a lot like mine, and I felt like a kid at the edge of a candy store looking in. Man, that looks great. I want to do that. So when we got back, they had a call for applications, and right after I got out of test pilot school, I applied. I was fortunate enough to get an interview, so I went down to NASA and interviewed with them, came home, waited, got the call, no, we don't want you as an astronaut. So I had to, uh, I went back to the fleet and actually got a call for an interview in two years after that to come back to NASA. I was in the Persian Gulf at the time, uh, flying missions over southern Iraq, and they asked me to come back for an interview, so I left the ship, interviewed, and this time they picked me. Long before his galactic adventures, Scott was a Boy Scout. The Distinguished Citizen Award recognizes those who exemplify the values scouting teaches youth. It has become evident that Scott is the epitome of the Scout Oath. And, and what do you most remember about that that uh, you look back and think, man, that was so cool when we got to do fill in the blank for me? Well, you know, it was the amount of uh, responsibility that the Boy Scouts give you, you know, to take you out. I went out one time with a bunch of guys from our troop and we're camping. It turned out to get uh, below freezing that night, so we all got the Polar Bear Award for sleeping out in the woods uh, <laughs> on a, a night below zero or something like that. Uh, I just really uh, was a neat experience to be able to do those things and to be expected to do those things and have that transition from just being a kid to being somebody who, could, who realized I could do things, you know, and have that kind of experience yeah. as camping. Scott lives by the same code that WD Boys Council and 4,000 local volunteers teach youth every day. On my honor, I will do my best to do my duty to God and my country, and to obey the Scout law, to help other people at all times, to keep myself physically strong, mentally awake, and morally straight. A Scout is held to a higher standard than his peers. He strives to always do his best. Like a scout's journey to the rank of Eagle Scout, Scott's journey to space was met with obstacles. Yeah, I was on cloud nine, as you can imagine, you know, a young kid, dreams are all coming true. Went in and took the uh, pre-induction physical and they measured my sitting height and said, you can still come to the academy, but we're taking your pilot slot away. You're too tall to be an Air Force pilot. Uh, that was a bad day, you know, in the life of a young kid. Forming into small patrols helps a young scout find their place in a community. Sense of community is carried with a scout for the rest of their lives. I think that this was a great mission for me to go out on. I really enjoyed it. It took the whole country, really, to be behind us and work together. There were folks uh, at all the centers. You know, Kennedy prepared two space shuttles at the same time, something they had done only once before in the history of the program. Goddard did a great job. People at Johnson Space Center got us ready and uh, all the folks who watched over us. It was truly a team effort. If everybody hadn't done their job, we wouldn't have gotten it done the way we did. So we were just fortunate enough to be uh, up in space. I really do uh, think a lot of Central Illinois, feel like I owe so much to the community. Growing up here is a huge part of who I am and what I have been able to achieve. And I just want to take a minute and say thank you to all of you. This is a tremendous place to live, and you're the best. The 12 points of the Scout Law include, a Scout is thrifty. Uh, people ask me what I made on the movie. The Navy charged Paramount Pictures $7,600 an hour for the airplane and $23 a day for the pilots. So you knew who the star was and who it wasn't. Scouts learn what it means to be a member of a community. Helping those around them becomes natural. Your 
parents, Fred and Sharon, are school teachers. Mm -hmm. um, so education is very important to you. You come back and see kids. You spend time with children. So what's your message? You know, the real message uh, to kids all over, but especially here in central Illinois that I try to touch is that follow your dreams, reach for the stars. You may want to be an astronaut. You might want to be an astrophysicist. You might want to be an artist. Whatever it is, I think it's important to talk to kids and say, you know, get your foundation, do what you can in school, and then follow your dreams. It doesn't always work out the way you expect, but if you don't give up, you never know where you might end up. I found myself at Officer Candidate School in Pensacola, which you might remember from an old movie called An Officer and a Gentleman, where uh, the drill instructors kind of beat up on the candidates. The only thing that wasn't realistic about that movie is the drill instructors were too nice in the movie. Uh, Ray J here is working out. We had a little exercise bike. He told me he was trying to ride all the way across Australia and the Pacific, but that was only 20 minutes, so he needed to work out a little bit longer. In tough situations, a scout learns to be calm and collected. Do you ever have fear? I, I, it, when and when is it the greatest? Well, I would say uh, the classic pilot's fear is uh, whatever happens, don't let it be my fault that uh, things go wrong. So you think about that prior to launch. I thought we were all ready. We'd uh, trained a little bit of extra because Hubble had a problem and our mission slipped seven months. So we got to use our time wisely and do some work uh, getting ready. Uh, I felt confident uh, going there, but one second after liftoff, we had a master alarm, which got all our attention. We wondered, well, what's going wrong now? What's gonna happen? Uh, Fortunately, it was an issue with a wire short that took out one of our control channels, but we had four, so uh, we were able to get to orbit without much issue. Time in the outdoors helps scouts develop a mental compass and respect for the world around them. It's how beautiful our planet is, uh, seeing the world from this incredible perspective, and then to look at images from Hubble of those distant galaxies and thinking, you know, this one soda saw slice of the night sky has 1,500 galaxies in it, each with 100 billion stars. You're like, wow, this is a big place out there. I can't even comprehend it all. I feel uh, very small and humble and very awed at the majesty of this creation. 